Hey y'all, welcome back to Mark III Firearms. Today, we're checking out a CZ Scorpion. This is their Evo 3 S1. And of course, some Cryptek Cerakote. As far as the coloring goes, we have Graphite Black, Desert Sand, also Noveski Bazooka Green, and Satin Aluminum are represented. Pretty awesome. And for the most part, this is pretty factory, except for a couple of uh, quick detach uh, sling mounts on the other side, the Holosone Graphic and a really cool Silencer Co. Omega 9K suppressor up in there. Hidden beneath. Pretty awesome. But it's awesome, guys. If you're a Cryptex fan, you gotta love it. Kinda fits the bill of, you know, a cross between your earth colors and your foliage colors your greens and your tans, but the satin aluminum really helps it pop and contrast a little bit better between the black and the green and of course, you know, it's another light color that's not quite a, you know, tan family, but it works. Go ahead and flip it around for you real quick. You know, Cryptex is fun. I know it's been out for a little while and it's maybe not the the newest and greatest as they say. Maybe it's not on trend for this year, but it's still just it looks awesome. It's a really cool pattern. Definitely one of the hardest to spray with Cerakote. Not because of spraying, but more of the prep. Your prep has to be pretty on and your timing and everything, so this should pretty much cost you the most if you're gonna do a custom Cerakote job, but it really looks cool. This is a sweet little package. I mean, this thing, SBR, 9 millimeter. I mean, it's, especially with the can up front, I mean, it's a compact little package once folded down. Let's go ahead and fold it down, actually. And there we go. It's a perfect truck gun. In the world of PCC, you got your SIG MPX and the CZ Scorpion, your quarter circle tens, and I mean even your Keltec was that the sub two thousand or whatever things called. There's a lot of them out there, but I'm really, really digging this the CZ. It's almost like the Glock, you know. It's it's not the most expensive, but it it just works. It's a very simple design as far as the mechanics. A lot of polymer and lightweight. And we are actually coming out, guys, with a lot of titanium for this gun. Um, pretty much replacing all the control groups with it. So, you know, with the Scorpion, everything's plastic, so you don't want to go to steel, of course. You're, you're, it's counterproductive. You're making the gun heavier. But you want to keep it strong, stronger than plastic, so you're going to have to go with titanium, and that's what we're doing. So definitely look forward in the future to see some of that. After SHOT Show, we should be able to have it, some of it up on our website. But anyways, yeah, questions, comments, concerns, guys, as always, guys and gals, leave them. You know, answer accordingly. definitely does not disappoint. Anyways, y'all, until next time.